Dear Everlasting Father, Thank you for the gift of a new day. It is indeed the day that you have made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. My joy and gladness stem from your salvation of my soul. Your deliverance and protection from death potentials. Your providence and continual supplies. Even as I am glad to see this day, dear Lord, I ask for the grace for the fullness of the gladness and joys that this your day has come with. Prevent anything that may want to temper with or tries to thwart my joy and gladness today. Guard and guide me into the full realization of the joy and gladness of the day. Your word says, in Isaiah chapter 45, that you will go before me to make the crooked way straight and break into pieces iron gates, and cut us under the doors of brass, to give me the treasures of darkness, and the riches of the hidden places. So dear Heavenly Father, I therefore ask, in true to your word, that you go before me to make this day a perfect day for me, a day devoid of troubles, a day of favor, a day of joy and gladness, a day that all the enemies of my life and my family are routed, and put to flight in total defeat. A day of impartation with uncommon wisdom from above. A day of grace and glory. A day that the mountain of shame, humiliation, reproaches, and troubles will see me and give way. A day that good and helpful people will remember me for good. Like in the case of Modakai and King Ahasuerus in the book of Esther. A day that only goodness and mercy follow me. A day of favor as the psalmist says, Thou shalt arise, and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time, is come. Dear Lord, I ask that you cause to clear off before me. Mountain of opposition, oppression, delays, hindrances, stumbling blocks, failure, deceit, and every form of evil and devilish oppositions and attacks, Straighten and hasten my path into success. Breakthrough, good health, cheap and easy victory. Over the enemies of my glory and manifestation. As your word says, that, the world eagerly awaits the manifestation of the children of God. Father, let this day hasten, facilitate and enhance my manifestation. Give me as you have promised in your word. The treasures of darkness and the riches of the hidden places as proof that you are with me. Holy Father, as it has pleased you that I see this day, I also ask dear Lord, that you lead my family and me through it. With abundance and supply all that we need to live buoyantly in it. For you promised us our daily bread and also life in abundance. You are my shepherd dear Lord. Therefore my good shepherd, leads me today through the greener pastures. Give us all that we may need for optimum life this day. Supply us our bread with joy and gladness of heart. Cause the bread of sorrows and pains to be far away from us. Banish from us, forever the bread of affliction and sorrows. Throughout our life and existence. Supply us all that we may ever need for an abundant life today. For it is for this purpose there Lord that you came. That we may have life and have it in abundance. Deliver also dear Lord, as good shepherd. From the marauders and from the tricks and machinations of the trickery, and from also devices of the crafty, cause their devices to perish with them. Let their counsel, like the counsel of the Ahithophel, be turned into foolishness. Deliver us from anger and the ferocity of the terrible. For your word says, that it is for this purpose, that our Lord Jesus Christ was made manifest, to destroy the works of the devil, who cometh not but to steal, kill and destroy. Father Lord, I ask that every work of the devil, including his thought, planning, programming, manipulations be destroyed and rooted out before me. I ask for restoration today. All that the devil, whose sole mission is to kill, steal and destroy have stolen, destroyed, or killed in my life. Restore to me this day whatever has been withheld from me due to sin carelessness, prayerlessness, and faithlessness. According to the faithfulness of your word in Joel chapter 2 verse 25, which says, 
that you would restore to me the years that the locust hath eaten, the cankerworm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, your great army which you sent among us. And we shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord our God, that hath dealt wondrously with us. And we, your people shall never be ashamed. Therefore, Father Lord, I demand all round restoration today. Whatever could have decorated my life but is lacking. Lord restore it to me today. Restore also my health, fitness, and strength. Restore my love for you, my passion, and my zeal to serve you. Restore to me also your glorious presence. Like in the words of the psalmist. Take not your Holy Spirit away from me. But restore unto me the joy of my salvation. And renew your spirit within me. Grant me protection and deliverance. From those who hate you and by extension your followers. For it is by your grace, that we have not been consumed. Despite all the roaring of the devil. Like a roaring lion, seeking for whom to devour. But dear Lord, you have kept protecting us. Providing for us, and delivering us from the devil and his wiles. Deliver us this day and every day of our life. From the evil plans and schemings. Let no weapons formed against us prosper, I condemn every talk that shall rise up against us this day. Your word says that there is no enchantment against Jacob or divination against Israel. Therefore, dear Lord, I confound and condemn every enchantment against my family and me. I decree and declare null and void every negative projection, every spell, every abracadabra, every magic word against me and my households. Let devices of the crafty catch up with them. Let their wit counsel like the counsel of Ahitophel fail foolishness. For your word says, that it is him that breaks the hedge that snake will bite. Let their fears come upon them. For your word says, that the fear of the wicked will come upon him but, the desires of the righteous shall be granted. Lord, I commit myself and my households into your hand. For anything committed you cannot be lost. I ran with my households into your name. For your name is a strong tower that the righteous runs unto for safety. I claim my victory over Satan and his works. Of sicknesses, diseases, and the evil men. I overcome them all by the blood of Jesus. For it is written that we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb, our Lord Jesus. Father, I hereby receive the blood of Jesus Christ at the lintels and doorpost of my heart that no devil, no destroyer can penetrate or locate me any longer. I receive also the anointing that protects, heals, and delivers. For it is written, Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And that by the anointing, yikes are destroyed. Lord, by the mystery of the anointing that destroys the yokes, I hereby destroy the yokes of delays, sicknesses, barrenness, poverty, stagnation, and every work of the devil in my life and family today. Father, cause your word to enter me afresh. For the entrance of your word gives light. Cause your light, O Lord, to illuminate every part of me, and to expel every darkness of sin and unrighteousness. Dear Lord, I commit this gift of a new day into your hands. Guard and guide me through it. To please you and to make the best out of it. To represent you well in all my ways as I step out today or engage in the businesses of the day. Let all my actions and inactions be directed and guided by your Spirit. Let our steps be ordered by you. Let me find grace and favor with you. And with those I shall come in contact with. Cause your gifts in me to make ways for me. For your word says, that a man's gift makes way for him. Let your gifts in me make ways for me. Heavenly Father, Cause my heart to be panting after you, like David every moment, so that I may be committed to pleasing you, with all that you have gifted me, and also with the life you have given me. Cause my heart to always be full of your joy, and gladness for it is with your joy, that I draw from the well of salvation. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation, and renew your spirit within me. 
do not cast me away from your presence. For in your presence is the fullness of joy. Thank you Father Lord, because I know you have answered. For you said, if we pray, we should believe that we receive. And we shall have what we asked. Father, I thank you once more because I have received answers to my prayers. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. We love you.